First of all, I introduce myself. My name is Gustavo Gozzi. I am professor of political thought, history of political thought, and also of uh, history and philosophy of uh, human rights. And also, I am a professor of uh, the um, uh, so called multiculturalism and the cultural relativism. I am responsible of this training course that I have uh, realized uh, with the collaboration of uh, other colleagues that uh, will contribute to the spreading of the ideas regarding the relationship between migration and, uh, and the development in the approach of human rights. I hope that the contents and the topics that we will discuss in this course can contribute to uh, reaching a sufficient and important level of awareness about these uh, uh, relationships that now we have uh, uh, considered the object of our studies and of our research. In the frame of the European project uh, AMITIE, the training course uh, aims at reaching a level of awareness about the relationships between uh, migration uh, development in a um, human rights uh, approach. And uh, in this context, my lecture regards uh, the problem of multiculturalism and uh, integration. I, consider, I mean that I consider the principles of multiculturalism in order to understand what we have to uh, consider the integration of migrants in our Western societies. So, first of all, I consider the, uh, the, the criteria of multiculturalism. Uh, the question of the relationship between uh, collective rights and individual rights. Um, because we have to understand that the individual rights are better guaranteed uh, if, we, um, if we protect the cultural identity of the groups to which the individuals belong. But we have some limits in this perspective because we have to refuse the possibility that the guarantee of the uh, cultural identity can violate the individual rights of the, of the, uh, of the human beings. Secondly, we have to consider the question that multiculturalism implies the idea of a plurality of values without any hierarchy. Uh, and this uh, consideration has a consequence uh, that uh, we have to go beyond the principle of a majority in our Western democracies. And uh, third uh, consideration, it is the paradox of multiculturalism, we have to consider that multiculturalism means plurality of culture, but uh, we have to put at the ground of multiculturalism only one culture, the culture of mutual recognition, and this is the question of integration. With this concept, uh, we have to understand two meanings. The first meaning uh, regards uh, the possibility of interpreting integration as uh, uh, a cultural integration, that is the possibility of uh, living according to one's own way of life and to, to educate one's own children according to this way of life. But there is also the necessity that integration be grounded uh, on the idea of the constitution, that is, um, the second meaning of uh, integration is a politico-constitutional integration. Uh, and uh, saying uh, that the constitution is at uh, the ground of multiculturalism uh, as, as a consequence that we have to refuse the idea of nation as the, the principal idea of uh, democracy, because the nation is a, a, a naturalistic, ethnic concept. It is the expression of the national community, and uh, this concept of nation excludes the non-nationals. Uh, in my lectures I give uh, some examples. For instance, the question of the crucifix both in Germany and in Italy, in order to demonstrate that if a minority asks for removing the crucifix, we have to accept this point of view. And uh, this uh, consideration implies also that the human rights are the rights of the minorities. I consider also the question of the, for instance, of the Islamic veil, both in France and in Germany, in order to demonstrate that we have to accept the cultural identity 
uh, we have to protect the cultural identity of human beings in our Western societies. At last, uh, another question. At the end of my lectures, I consider also a problem that is, uh, um, till which limit have we to accept the migrants in our societies? Which is the status of migrants in our societies? We have to consider that the migrants contribute to the growth of our gross domestic product, first consideration. Moreover, we have to affirm that migrants uh, through their remittances contribute to the increase to the development of their societies of origin. And uh, as uh, uh, last consideration, we have to recognize that the presence of migrants in our societies contribute to maintain the level of, of uh, social security that we have reached till now. For all these reasons, we have to accept we have to maintain, we have to sustain the presence of migrants in our Western democracies.